Her project title is Automatic Vehicle Smoke Monitoring and Control System Using LabVIEW. The main aim of our project is to reduce the effect of the smoke released by the vehicles by adding a new gas to the gas exhaust. This is our project kit. This is the main power supply. 230 to 15 volt step down transformer with a current rating of 1.5 amps. Since we are in need of various power supply, we have used a rectifier circuit. In rectifying unit, we have used three regulated ICs. 7805 for plus 5 volt supply. 7812 for plus 12 volt supply and 7912 for minus 12 volt supply. This is the relay unit which will drip when there is any fault in other units. It is in no, normally in no condition, in no condition. 12 volt DC motor control. In this unit, the DC motor runs and the speed of the vehicle is sensed by using IR sensor. This is the C12 sensor. This again the IR sensor is used to detect whether the person has worn the belt or not. This is the microcontroller unit in which the Atmega 164 PV microcontroller is used. This microcontroller is used because it consists of two serial ports in which one port is connected to GPS and another to GSM. It also have analog port and digital port. We can give more number of inputs and can take more number of outputs. The display unit is dot matrix display in which the parameter like speed, percentage of gas exhaust, seat belt etc are displayed. This is the gas sensor board. The input supply voltage is 5 volt. Gas sensor MQ7 is used for the gas level identification. This is the GPS system which is used as a transmitter unit to locate the vehicle and to send the message. This is the GSM system which is used as a receiving unit to receive the message signals from GPS. This LabVIEW version we used here is LabVIEW 8.6. This is the RS-232 port, serial port. It can connect 12 volts to convert 12 volts to 5 volt and 5 volt to 12 volt. Let's see the working of the project. Here, DC motor is considered as a vehicle's motor. When the power supply of 12 volt is given, the motor starts rotating. IR sensor is used to measure the speed of the motor. The speed of the motor is calculated by rotation per second. If the speed of the vehicle exceeds the city limit, alarm circuit gets on and the driver is given an intimation. This intimation leads to 10 seconds. If the speed is reduced below the city limit, then the alarm gets off. In the seat belt sensor, here we use an IR sensor. This sensor senses whether the passenger has worn the seat belt or not. If the seat belt is not worn, then the alarm circuit is on through microcontroller. Then as soon as the seat belt is worn properly, the alarm gets off. Otherwise, the alarm continues to intimate for every 10 seconds and the dot matrix display displays about the unsafe mode. The, the gas from the vehicles, the gas outlet from the vehicles are carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, NOx, SO2, hydrocarbon and particulate matters. Now the gas sensor unit. Here the LPG gas is used instead of vehicle gas for the purpose of demo. When the gas content exceeds the limit, then the driver gets an intimation through an alarm and a message is sent to RTO through GSM about the gas level and also the location, vehicle number, name of the person, Now working out the lab view. First choose the serial port COM16. Then select the continuously run button. Then give OK to the receive initialization. <coughs> the process is going on. Mm. Then automatically mobile number, gas level, name of the person, Vehicle number, latitude, longitude of the region is displayed.